did a Patrick Foley who was a peasant farmer, I suppose, and I have a wife and a lot of kids. And I'm basically being evicted for cutting down a tree and the landlord is coming and he's giving me a tough time. So I get the role basically. So Are you glad to be a part of it? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just fantastic, it's terrific like and there's so many different people involved with it, it's great. You and old. In the painting times and the landlords they were ruling the country here and destroying the peasants really and giving them nothing. You know, and looking for rent off them then you had to pay with your corn or your crops or whatever. And if you didn't have that, you were kicked out on the road. Very simple, really. I got caught in it coming back from my rounds. Oh, they're the tenements. Uh, yes, uh, I, I flu has those poor children very in. I've I seen you coming and going. I work in the centre of town myself. I see. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I've run off my feet. I need to bake a load of bread this evening. Oh, for the poor? No, for some friends of mine incarcerated for making public speeches and, and their involvement in the Sinn Féin party. Those power buggers. They get treated with terrible injustice. So, so you pass the bread to them, is it? I do. I know how bad it is myself. What we'll do is, we're going to take it from, sound of applause, right? So we're going to take it from, we're after clapping for Dev, right? So Mary, you're going to say, but we had not seen the end of the black and tans. By, and the auxiliaries by any means, right? So we're going to start, when I give you the go, we're going to start. Mary's going to say, so we're clapping for Dev. Dev, I put up my hand, and then it's in, straight into the match. So come on, ref! Right? Come on, get the Jay! Hit the ref! Come on, anything! Get it! Get it! Get it! Come on, this ref! With a look at Get the ref! Get the ref! Get the ref! Get the ref! just kind of made me realise how little they actually know about the rising and mm -hmm. I want to inform myself a bit more and I think I'm going to do so after doing this. Uh, what's it like working with this motley crew here? Love it. Love it. Great bit of fun. It's amazing to see all the talent that we actually have in you all, you know. It's, you kind of forget that we're here and that we can do things like this so it's, I hope there's more of it. It's the Rising Sisters, it's the two girls from Kill and other members of family who go to Dublin and it just charts their experience. They're real historical figures and they're real historical <laughs> figures in it and they originally came from Kill so it would be very interesting to me. You're fortunate that the military arrived so quickly. Oh, we blow it in on you! Major King and his merry men. Your husband, Joe Martin. It's statement saying we stole nothing. I don't know that. I won't find anything. Oh my God! You'd want to get some control over your pigs. What did you say? Your pigs. Look, they stubbed out their cigarette butts on my carpet. How dare they? Get your pigs under control. Hey, private. Here at once. Yes, sir. Who did this? Excuse me, sir. What this? These cigarette butts. Pick them up. Yes, sir. <sighs> what will I do with them, sir? Bring them outside and grow a beanstalk, Private. Get out of my sight! Yes, sir. Do you know I could stand you against that wall and shoot you dead for saying that? Do you? I'm quite aware of that. I'm not the first and surely not the last to be treated in such a disgraceful fashion. I uh, apologise uh, for that. Fine. Thanks, I'm sorry about that. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll bust your job. I'll bust your job. Do I say that? The bust your job. I'll bust your job. I'll tell you now. Tell you now. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, he and he and he he's heavily involved. I never lifted a shagging gun. I'm sympathetic well enough, but you're having no deals with this. You're married to me. That's dealings enough. Ah, the bold Bridget Martin, what? You know, you'll bring the whole out of them to their Would you stop that, for God's sake? Hey, I knew someone else away. Did you now, you rogue? <laughs> you make me blush. They're back. Open up, Joe Martin. Open up. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Will you stop your bawling? We are here to arrest Joe Martin. We could hear that. 
Won't you come in and have tea, gentlemen? Uh, uh, no. A cup of tea would be nice. Will you shut up? Joe Martin, you're under arrest and will be questioned about your activity with Sinn Féin. Well, if you insist. But I haven't a bull's notion about anything political. Reynolds, we will bring him to Dublin Castle. You can come and see him at any time. Excuse me, miss. I know they have to be lawyers. But if you give me anything to give to him, I'll make sure he gets it. Good Martin. <laughs> you know, you can bring the whole Adam to the knees. Will you stop that for God's sake? You know, I missed you when you were away. Did you now? You rogue. I missed you when I was away. Sorry. I, you know, oh, sorry, go, go again, sorry. I said, no, I said I missed you when you were away. Should I should have said I missed you when you were away. Where can I go for a Just a question before we start, actually. Do you know the last thing written is John Reynolds? Is that whispered? Yeah. Okay. Cool, just checking. Yeah. Okay. God, Jesus, what do they want with me? I don't know. Perhaps they have you mixed up with Eamon Martin. If he's heavily involved. I never, never even lifted a shack and gun. I'm sympathetic well enough, but you have no deals with this lad. You're married to me. That's dealings enough. <laughs> the bold Bridget Martin. You know, you'll bring the whole Adam to the knees. Would you stop that, for God's sake? I missed you when I was away. Did you now? You rogue. You make me blush. <laughs> Brian Hogan. Um, if we could get you on board to get Dan. that information out of Dublin uh, Castle, I'm playing the part. It would stop a lot of raids and, and executions. I'm the part of Do you want to meet with him first? Oh God! God, no one. Bannerstrand. When you meet him, oh invite him to the casement. Roger, is it? Roger, case. Okay. Roger, case. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Very well. Yeah. Very exciting. First one. Never have done a radio play before, so I'm enjoying it. Very well written. Yeah, is this your first radio play? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Right. Well, before. How, how, how do you feel about it? Come back and be on stage and scream and say. Oh, I, it's, it's, it's. Uh, I like it very much. Yeah. It's not as intense. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's different. Be more relaxed. If you have something to say, you can say it now rather than behind my back. I know what people are saying. It's a man's duty. It's a man's cause. But they needed our help, us women. And there was plenty of us. Come on, Come on,